Screen Arts and Cultures is offering a course which is about the American independent film movement, and John Sayles is the anchor for this course. In an era in which independent film and commercial film are really kind of inseparable, he has continued to make truly independent films. There's a whole range of, of, of material, and all of it reflects his life and the life of the movie itself, which expands through these, these boxes, through these artifacts. The students are creating an exhibit out of the archive. Getting a bunch of undergraduates to be able to go into an unprocessed collection, that is really special access. To have put on an exhibit as an undergraduate student, and not many people can say that. Opening a box really is an adventure. You don't know what each folder is gonna contain. Going through these vials, these, these documents from these films, it's a hands-on experience. It's an experience uh, unlike writing a paper. It's a tactile thing. It was really special to see the physical documents, to see his storyboards and to see his notebooks. You can't get that same sensation online. It was honestly kind of weird to not have the ability to Google everything. You're the person who's putting up the things to make it on Google. And I think stuff like that is really interesting. Going through John's works and Maggie's works also gives a better idea of what it takes and how difficult it is to be an American independent filmmaker. John Sales is a true independent filmmaker. He doesn't just work outside of the system because he can't get into the system. He works outside of the system because he likes the outside of the system and he likes his movies to stand for something. I certainly got a better understanding of the type of work that goes into actually writing a screenplay that has made me more invested in what I want to do. It excites me to see how hard people work. I'm excited to work that hard on films.